Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the use variables command in the M plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials usually related to structural equation modeling, factor analysis, latent class analysis or multi-level modeling and often related to the M plus software. If this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel. Also if you like this video then please hit the like button. In this video I want to show you how the use variables command works in the M plus software and why it is important to typically include this command when you run a, an analysis or a model in the M plus software. In this example here I'm fitting a one factor model of confirmatory factor analysis and I'm fitting this model to three variables in my data set y1, y2 and y3. Notice that here the model command says f by y1 through y3, which means I'm fitting a model where three indicators load on my single factor. Also note that in my variable names list, here I have four variables. So the total number of variables in this example data set is four, y1 through y4. And now also note that I did not include a use variables command in this input file. And I want to show you what happens when you do that, when you have your names list with a certain number of variables and you have a model in which you use a certain number of variables from that list, but you don't include for whatever reason the use variables command in your M plus syntax. So let's hit the run button. And this is what happens when you run this model. You get uh, these two warning messages here. And this is something that people are often very confused about, especially um, people who are beginners with M+. They don't know what to do or some people might just simply ignore those messages and just scroll down to the model results. And so in this video I want to show you why this is problematic and why you should include a use variable statement in your M+ syntax. So here let's first take a look at these error messages and see what they mean. You can see that M plus says first warning in model command variable is uncorrelated with all other variables y4. And then another warning message, warning message at least one variable is uncorrelated with all other variables in the model. Check that this is what is intended. And so then often people are confused and they say what does this mean that a variable is uncorrelated with all other variables? I don't even care about y4, y4 is not in my model, I have only y1, y2 and y3 and so this probably doesn't matter to me because y4 isn't relevant to me so the fact that it is not correlated with the other variables in that model it shouldn't concern me. And so that is a um, potentially serious problem or it causes potentially serious issues when you do that. So let's take a look at why this is something that you should not ignore and this, why this is something that you should pay attention to and that needs to be fixed. Let's take a little bit, um, let's take a look at the model results. And so we have 500 observations here in this example. Let's take a look at the descriptive statistics and our sample statistics you will find that y4 here is included in the set of variables for which M plus prints descriptive statistics. First of all, the means, and then the covariance matrix and the correlation matrix. And you can see from the correlation matrix very clearly that the variable y4 is substantially to strongly correlated with the other variables. For example, the correlation between y4 and y1 is almost 0.5 and the correlation between y3 and y4 is even higher 0.675. So this message that this variable is uncorrelated with all other variables is something that needs to concern us because the real data, the empirical data here shows that this variable is not in fact uncorrelated with all other variables in reality. This is not the case. And I'll explain later why M plus prints this message and what this means. Next, I want to show you 
the model fit results, you can see the model estimation as such terminated normally in this case. So there's not an error message about the model failing or some estimation problem here. This all seems fine. We have 11 parameters in this model. And then something that is pretty striking is the very high chi-square value that you get here. The chi-square test of model fit is an omnibus test of whether the covariance matrix in the population is equal to the model implied covariance matrix and or whether the mean vectors are equal in the population if the mean structure is included and restricted. And so here you can see this test yields a very high test statistic of almost 350 with three degrees of freedom and a very small p-value. So this would mean that there's a huge discrepancy between the model or the model implied covariance structure in this case and the actual covariance structure that was observed, meaning the model did not fit here at all. The model shows a very bad fit. And so this should concern us for two reasons. First of all, it seems very high for a model that you hypothesize. So the model, it would mean the model is very, very wrong and probably more wrong than what you would expect or how wrong you would expect it to be, so to say. And then second, this is actually a saturated model because it's a model with three indicators and one factor. And so in fact, the, the chi-square should actually be zero. So the model by definition should fit perfectly because it's a saturated model or a just identified model, as we say, which means this model by definition should reproduce the means and covariances perfectly that were observed. If you don't know what a saturated model is, then please check out my other video in the description where I discuss um, saturated models in more detail. Just simply what it means is that this model um, shouldn't show any misfit, so to say, by definition. So this should um, make you concerned. And also the fact that it has three degrees of freedom, because this model is saturated, it should have zero degrees of freedom and shouldn't show um, misfit like this. You can see the other fit statistics also look horrible. An RMSEA of almost 0.5 is way too high, and CFI and TLI are way too low, given what we uh, currently see as cutoff criteria for these indices, they should be above 0.9 or better above 0.95 for a good fit and so on. So all these fit statistics here indicate that this model um, shows a horrible fit to the data and this would be surprising to us. So we might claim then that this model um, just simply doesn't fit and that a one-factor model isn't appropriate for these three variables. And that would be incorrect to claim this because model should fit in this case. And so let's take a look at the parameter estimates. You can see that the model here in the results has only y1, y2, and y3 as indicators of the factor as it should be. So the loadings are only estimated for y1, y2, and y3, but not y4. However, y4 is in the model as well. We get the mean estimated here and we get the variance estimated. So y4 is sort of like treated like an exogenous variable in the model that is not an indicator of the factor. It's not, y4 is not an outcome variable here. Um, y4 doesn't do anything basically. It just is there and has a mean and a variance. And so now why is this problematic? It's problematic because M plus adds three constraints into the model that we don't want. And that's the constraint that y4 is uncorrelated with y1, y2, and y3. So basically M plus implicitly behind the scenes sets the covariances between y4 and all other observed variables to zero and puts that constraint in. And now we saw from our observed correlation matrix that this is probably a restriction or most likely a restriction that 
is not in line with the data because y4 is so strongly correlated with y1, y2, and y3. So if we, if we set these three correlations to zero, then that um, causes misfit. And that's what causes the chi-square test of model fit here to have three degrees of freedom when actually it should have zero degrees of freedom. And what causes this chi-square test to be so large in value. And so this is also what these error messages are about. So these error messages tell us exactly that, that M plus estimates a one factor model with these indicators, but adds Y4 to the model and constrains the correlations of Y4 with the other variables to zero. And that adds these constraints. Now, how can we avoid this to happen? Because obviously we want to avoid this because our model now was misspecified. This is not what we wanted. We wanted the one-factor model, but we didn't want y4 in the model as a variable that is uncorrelated with the other variables. That doesn't make any sense to us. So the way you can avoid this is by always including a so-called use variable statement in your variable command, use variables, where you list only the variables that really are in your model. So you make sure that only the one, only the variables that you have also in your model that are supposed to be there are listed under use variables. So in other words, we want to include Y4 or any other variables in our names list that are not part of our model. So let me copy this list here and then I'm going to add it right here. And so this tells M plus then that in this model, only y1, y2, and y3 are relevant variables, not y4. And then this error message will go away, and you'll see that this model then is actually saturated, is a perfect fit, and you get the results that are the ones that you want. So let's run this again. Now you can see input reading terminated normally. No more error message here, or warning message. Also, Y4 disappeared from the sample statistics because it's no longer in the analysis. The model estimation terminated normally, and now we have only nine parameters because Y4 is no longer there. And you can see the chi-square test of model fit has a value of zero now and zero degrees of freedom, as it should be for a saturated model. Again, a one-factor model with three indicators and three loadings as a saturated model. It should, by definition, fit perfectly. And this is what you can see here. All the other fit statistics indicate that as well. And now you can see in your model results, you only have Y1, Y2, and Y3 anymore. Y4 is gone from the output. And now you have the results that you want to have. So in summary, the use variables command is very important to include in M plus when you run a model because you want to make sure that there are no variables that are accidentally um, behind the scenes active in your model estimation because that can cause big trouble, it can cause misfit, it could cause um, bias in your parameter estimates when you have a, model, a variable in there that is um, constrained to be uncorrelated with the other variables when in fact it's not uncorrelated. And this is something that you can avoid and that you should avoid by always including this use variables command. The only so say, situation that I can think of right now where you wouldn't need this use variable statement is when all the variables in your names list are included in your model. So when you have a data set with just a handful of variables and you're using all those variables in your model properly, then you don't need the use variable statement. But in all other cases, when you pick variables from your names list for your model, then you should include this use var statement or use variable statement so that you can, you can avoid these types of problems. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out the description for additional free videos and workshops and um, other resources. And I'll see you next week.